this is Robert with the technical support department here at Go Engineer, and we've got another uh, quick tips video explaining on surface modeling. Now we're just doing a basic surface modeling tutorial here. We have some more detailed videos on specific tools that surfaces can can make, but this is more about a general overview of what surface modeling is, and what it's for. Uh, here I have two extrudes that I created. One is a solid extrude and one is a surface extrude. Just to show you the difference of the result. Uh, both sketches are the same uh, center rectangle here. Same with this one. You can see there's the sketch profile. But we get a very different result. Surfaces have zero thickness and are not filled in. Solids, of course, are solid and are enclosed. If we cut it, we can see that this is solid all the way through and not hollow. Whereas the surface model is thin. Um, surface modeling affords us a lot of abilities uh, that you don't have in solid modeling because you're not constrained by thickness. Uh, things can be a little bit more free form. And, uh, and so in some cases you can make shapes that you otherwise would have difficulty or might even be impossible to make with solid modeling. Here we have a, um, this, this funny shaped piece that I made. This is just for, for demonstration, but you can see I would not begin to know how to make a shape like this uh, solid modeling. But with surface modeling, it just took me a couple minutes, not a big deal. Uh, the overall strategy of surface modeling is to make surfaces that create a volume and then knit them together to create a closed, uh, a closed volume. So here I have my uh, all my features. What I did is I made a surface extrude, or not an extrude, but a sweep. So you can see it has no thickness, very infinitely thin here for the uh, top and bottom. Again, I wouldn't know how to make these shapes solid modeling because they don't um, they don't parallel each other. And then I use the boundary surface feature to add in faces to just close it up. Again, you can find instructions on how to use these tools in other places. We have other YouTube videos as well as the SolidWorks tutorials. And when I use this knit feature, it binds them together as a single solid body. And again, if I cut it, it's solid all the way through. If I were to undo this knit feature, all these lines turn blue because they're not knit anymore. Section it, and you can see that it's hollow. So that's the overall strategy here. I'm gonna, I've got two models here that we can use to demonstrate some of the properties, um, the advantages of surfaces over solids. Um, solids, of course, are much easier for most folk, but occasionally you need a surface. So here I have a series of lofts that I or a series of sketches that I'm going to use and make a loft. This could be like a wing, maybe. Uh, I'm going to do a, uh, this part is named solid, so I'm going to go to the features tab and choose a lofted boss base. And I'm going to choose my uh, features here, my profiles. I'm going to nice continuous curvature body. And it's nice, it's got these flat end faces that are from our profiles. But well, let's say I wanted maybe a wingtip end to this. Now you could dome it, for example. But it doesn't always work, as you can see. It doesn't doesn't always doesn't always work out the dome feature. Especially it, it, dome dome is best with kind of round faces. Um, so let's go to the surface one. Now these are the exact same profiles. But instead we're going to go to the surfaces toolbar, lofted surface choose my same profiles at the same place, create it. This time we have the same outside shape but we have it hollow on the inside and we can use this filled surface feature and choose curvature which means that the surface that I'm creating will maintain continuous curvature with the edges that it's adjacent to. I'm going to select that now it's giving me a warning that it might not satisfy the tangency or curvature, but when I click OK, you can see this yellow mesh preview looks really good. Um, I like it, so I'm going to accept that. Now sometimes when you see the mesh, it still isn't going to complete 
uh, but in this case it did. And now we have a nice transition to more of a more of a blade rather than a dome at the end of this. And you can see that the curvature also follows in this direction. Uh, let's close this up and make it into a solid. So I'm going to do another filled surface and choose this back edge, which it's going to end up being planar. I now have three surface bodies, that one, that one, and that one. So I need to knit them together to turn them into a solid. So I'm going to choose the knit surface feature and select my surfaces. And I'm going to choose merge entities and I'm going to choose try to form solid. If you don't choose that, then it won't create a solid part. It'll just create an enclosed surface body. So we're going to click OK. And then when I section it, you can see solid body. This has been Robert with the Technical Support Department. I hope this was instructive for you. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day.